So advertising, a specialty, really advertising and marketing of our other guest today, uh, who is Eric Yaberbaum. He's like, you didn't say my name. And I'm like, well, you didn't give me a chance because I want to do this like, you know, with the ad because this is really your specialty. Um, and reaching out to people with communications, Eric Yaberbaum, of course, of uh, PR for Dummies fame. The book, you've written a lot of books, though. Yes, I have. What, what do you think about the whole aspect of using this to get health care across to people? Does what it work? Uh, yeah, of course it works. I mean, advertising works, marketing works. But what I think is much more important and would be a lot more relevant to absolutely lutely everybody as opposed to whatever money we're spending on these ads is why don't we get a copy of the bill in everybody's hands? So people, let, let, in, in, here's another bill, and you know I got a problem with this. I said the same thing with cap and trade. We got another bill that everybody's debating that nobody's read. So instead of <laughs> letting 30 seconds convince you what your opinion is, Get your hands on the bill, and I, I think that's what the White House should be doing. This one's even worse. They don't even have the bill drafted, and they're debating over it, which is the real scary thing. No one even knows what's going into this thing. It's going to be sausage. They're going to throw it in at the last minute. Nobody knows what's going on. What you know, Public option, we're going to have one. What's it going to look like? Nobody has huh. any idea, yet the president still comes out and says... It's going to pass. Well, We're you know get what this there done. is a lot of in Slow sausage. Down. Slow down. Seriously. You down. know what? I, you know the main ingredient in You're sausage? so right. Slow down. Pork. Well, it, 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 <laughs> I mean, it, right? I mean, this when was bill. the last time you had chicken sausage? I mean, they do make it. Yeah, but you know what? It's All these bills. Like, <laughs> the and what bill, are they, $9 chicken, a package? This is not new, though. And But sadly... What is new is the state that we're in. So because of the state that we're in as a country, we All need right, to wake okay. up I have to ask and pay attention. Guys. I mean, five point, let's use it on a sliding scale. Well, if you make $10, 5.4% yeah. is not that much. You make a million dollars, and that's a chunk of change. Yeah, well, right. you know what, but even if you're not, because uh, I'm not against the tax part of it. I don't mind paying more more in taxes if I can help. But you want to give up more than five percent of your. I, I don't mind if 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 I can help. If if there's somebody who cannot get health care that somehow somebody who's who is in a different demographic can help, I do not mind doing that. But what I do mind is not knowing the details of exactly what that health plan will be. And I think all we need to do is look at Canada and we can make a judgment on does it really work in Canada what they have there? Because I don't there, think it does. Well, there will be rationing and there will be. Um, cost containment issues and there will be um, I just think quality of care issues and and I think you don't mind paying more in money but I think if you tax a lot of people that's less money that people like you can invest um, it's hmm. money like me somebody who really doesn't make that much but under Barack Obama's purview well, I'm, better than me. I'm rich <laughs> stop <laughs> well she has an advantage of having beautiful yes. everything um, I just have a good shoe collection, that's all. <laughs> but, I'm with you on the shoes. But that's all you I spend my saying? money on. And Barack Obama's trying to take away my shoe money, which is funneled into the economy. Well, here's he said spending. he would balance the budget, and then he said, well, there's some debt that we're going to have to live with until we get out of this recession. Well, and, and in fairness, I mean, the stimulus isn't working so far. We don't know yet. I mean, I'm not feeling too great about it myself, but we don't know yet. Only 10% of it has really gotten into the marketplace. But there was, a, there was an old story that uh, I don't believe was true, but used to fly around Washington after Eisenhower uh, had a heart attack. And Nixon went in to, you know, visit him, and he said, you know, Mr. President, is there anything that I can do for you, anything at all, do anything? And he said, yeah, take your foot off my uh, oxygen tube. <laughs> you know, that's what was going on right. in the country. It's too much at the same time. Right. We can't ingest all this change to make the right decisions. You know what? That's from, why we need the chatter and the debate. From a PR standpoint, you know, because we are a PR-driven society. Let, hey Amen. Let's What's wrong with that? I mean, we are a society that actually <laughs> watches news conferences. Like people are like, I get the feeling that health care is the new black. <laughs> it's like, you know. I'm wearing all black. What I mean, does that mean? No, I, whenever anything's <laughs> in fashion, you say well, it's the new black. It, it, I mean, it, it, first it, it was the economy, and you put that on, and everybody wants to listen to you. Now you put on health care, and now it's not selling so well, so now you've got to sell it harder. I know, oh, oh I don't think it's black. I, I, think it's yeah. like, I think it's like fluorescent orange, like one of these colors that, you know, uh, the, in theory, they try and make it a comeback on you know toe polish this year, and still everyone's going. <laughs> oh, but it's still too bright. <laughs> still doesn't work. It, it, it's a shiny object. Any, any way you shake it, the economy is what everybody cares about. Is this going to pass? It, th well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the details are yet. But I don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't think. Keep saying that. I, well, okay, well, listen to this email. But it's true. We're, we're debating Why something don't we, we don't even know what the issues are yet. But if you walked out of here and got hit by a bus. You would be taken and treated in a hospital. This is well. There's not health care for preventative for many people, but what you're saying is absolutely right. In this country, if you show up in an emergency room, they treat you. Yeah, they treat uh, you. Not a, and not, you. And no, that's not true. 
Not a hundred percent of the time. Oh no, and, it, and that's it's also true. true. Look, I live they a life. They treat illegal of, aliens now. Not a hundred percent of the time, and I also live a life where I have oh, enormous do. health bills in my life, and a, a different system might work better for me. My life is very different because of my health bills for, to take With care of my wife, wife for the last decade. All of that said. You know, I just, uh, I like the fact that if my wife needs an MRI, I'm going to get one tomorrow. I like that. If we change the, our medical care, if my, my wife is from Toronto, actually, if she still lived there and she needed an MRI, everybody's covered there, but it's three months later. So, I, you know, I'm really curious to see some details here. Oh, I, right. I, 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 I don't know. Who's like a, I don't know. Steven I, Spielberg. I, 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 How do I know? Well, I mean, <laughs> but, but I'm saying all that stuff costs I money. I thought you were producing them. No, I'm not doing any of all that right, stuff. All right, let me finish this. The White House doesn't call me Any ever, ever since I came on this show. Week. So here's the thing. They think they can get this done in two weeks. Yeah, see, that's insane to me. It's insane. Why it is took it insane? Because it took me two weeks to read Cap the Cap and Trade Bill. And the only reason I read it was I wanted to go on shows like this one. So I could tell you everything about it. And I don't like some of the stuff in there. Nobody right. does that. Not even well, the people that vote on um, it. Two remember, weeks. we were promised transparency. And, and you, okay, Eric Yaberbaum is very fastidious. It's one of the things I like most about him. Um, if you get your hands on the health care bill, I know you'll read it. So you have to come back and tell well, no, us what's I'm, in it. Well, no, you know what? I, I, I'm sick of reading these bills at night. It's not my Look, job. It's Congress and Senate's job. Our lawmakers aren't reading it. Well, I Eric, know. And read the bill. No, I'm, <laughs> what I'm really encouraging people to do is for, Where are you for find your the education bill, is... Where do you find it? Because, right, but, but here's right. the thing. It all comes back to the economy, doesn't it? Well, it's, yes, it, I don't know if it comes course. back to you, but it starts there, and that's broken. Right. right. Hmm. You agree right. with me? All right. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gosh, there's, there's just love in the room. Um, <laughs> I don't know you how guys, much love. We're not loving health care. We're not loving cap and trade. Yeah, but guys, we're loving each we, other. We that's, gotta, that's a novel. We, we got to get, uh, get, uh, get our hands on the health care bill. Even, um, my yeah, question skip is, the cliff notes. Read the whole darn we bill. Be, well, we won't be able to get there. Are 300 uh, whether you read it before, speaker's before house. during, or after, every person in this country should read a bill for real. I don't want to do it during, after. Well, no, I don't want to well, no, either, but I'm no. just, realistically... Before, during, maybe, but not that's after. That's my thing about the bill. Uh, you know, I said it at the tea party. It was the only cheer I got. Otherwise, I was booed off the stage. But Aww. is that you... I'm glad to, you went. To, uh, thanks. To read the number of pages that are in a bill, realistically, and I'm a good reader, it takes a reasonable amount of time. You're talking about passing a bill that will probably be at least 1,000 pages two weeks from now that isn't even written. When's anybody actually going to read this thing before it gets passed? Read the whole thing. So slow thing. down. So it goes Exactly. Back slow down. All right, What's let me the read rush? this. Tracy P. in Ohio. Angry. I don't want to be angry anymore. <laughs> nobody likes me. Voted for the man. I wanted to be the, the rah-rah Democrat who... Debated you guys. I don't well, want to be I on your know, team. Man. I, Obama, you I voted for him. I'd vote for him again. I said it at the Tea Party, but I got issues. And I think they should be aired, and I think we should all understand I think them. there's a lot of people like you out there. Well, they I seem do. to be visiting me a lot. <laughs> I do. They're, they're, they're not the ones sending me emails, though. <laughs> I mean, not everybody, but, but I, I get do no sort of friends bring anymore. Out, uh, and I do sort of bring out that whole campaign. Every, look, I love ad agencies. I love them. They hire me. I love you all. But... The objective of an ad is to manipulate your opinion or to encourage you to take action to do something. That's what advertising is for. And what do they want us to do? They, they want us to feel favorably about whatever is coming down the pipeline. Calling our Congress people and making a stink. When they you want see, us to be quiet uh, because what else could we do? That's all we can do. No, you know, you know what, Harris? You said yourself. I haven't seen the ads yet, but you said yourself. We just I, heard it. I, I feel guilty. I, Air yeah, the I ad again, Kevin. Yeah, but we can't. When I come here, I couldn't hear it. And we have uh, to turn you up feel the guilty. Audio. That's the objective. Can now, we you air feel the ad guilty. again? You sit on the fence. The problem is the audio went on the speaker. And oh. 